Well, that was loud. I'm sorry. I yelled really loudly. Sorry if your volume was a little high off the porn and now you're listening to us. And it's like, oh my god, I need to turn this down. Today is the longest day of the year. There's more daylight now at 6.30 than there is at noon in the winter. Happy first day of summer officially, even though you're going to watch this and it'll be like the first day of fall. Yes, yeah, so happy first day of summer, Alex. And to you, YouTube. Hopefully, if you remember it um, from whenever you're watching this, I hope that it was a good day. Because it's been a good day for me. Post, post what you did on the first day of first, summer. As your alibi. This yeah. is our alibi. That's right. There's no reason to be Look suspicious. Up bodies. Yeah, or missing persons. Not at all. This is what we've been doing. All day. All day. Every day. Uh, where are we going today, Aaron? Any ideas? Uh, nope. The police might have something to say. I find it weird that, like, emergency services all have their letters on cars backwards. You know so why you that can is. Read it in the rear view mirror. However, all commercial vehicles have it on normal. They want you to move, yeah, you're not moving over for commercial vehicles, they want you to move over for emergency vehicles, and when you look in the rear view mirror, because you can see the flashing lights ahead of you, but you may not see the flashing lights behind you, per se. So if you're looking back and you say, hey, that reads ambulance, I'm gonna move over for the ambulance. I don't know, because I've never been pulled over. Can you? You've never been pulled over. I've never been pulled in over. In your life, you have never spoken to a police officer and had to provide uh, license and registration papers. No. Not once. No. My God, you need to get out more. You are like in that like grid of of. I do a lot of driving. You are a lawful good. I do a lot of driving. I just feel like I'm lucky most of the time. Wow. Like, I, I just... Have you ever had a close call where, like, he turns on the lights, but it's not you he's going after? I've had a few few close calls. Um, my one close call, I was driving my mom's van, and we in Ontario have uh, plate expiry stickers. Her birthday's in August. The plate expires on your birthday. I remember this. But it only goes, like, and basically... It only it goes to like, your birthday. Yeah. So, it was... What were we doing? I feel like we were going to Canada Day. You did get pulled over. That's right. I remember. It wasn't this. pulled over. It was a ride check. Oh yes, it was a ride check, and the guy and the cop at the back said sticker. Sticker. And I don't know. We might have been going to the cottage. I think we were going to the cottage to see the fireworks for that weekend, which would have been like the first of July. So it doesn't make yeah. any sense why they would be pulling me over or asking about my sticker for birthdays in August. Um, anyway, the guy was like, when's her birthday? And I was like, her birthday's on the 30th. Come on, man. It's always on the 30th it's when asked by a police officer. Her birthday's on the 30th. Unless you're born in February. And then it's the 29th. <laughs> <laughs> so, there was that, which was a close call. Um, I was driving to Windsor, and it was a snowstorm. I was actually at Faith. And I was on the 401, and the conditions were less than stellar. But I was still doing, like, uh, 105. Which, the speed limit is 100. And, uh, left lane, and I noticed there was just red and blue lights behind me, and I was like, oh man, what? And then I looked down, and it was like 105 or 110. And I was like, really? Alright. And then I, I went to... Uh, pull over, but like in the, the middle lane, and then I noticed he was already gone somewhere. Like he was going somewhere else. So I don't know if it was just like a uh, watch. Yeah, he got a call, and then or he was just kind of like you know don't just don't go too much faster than that because the weather's not the great. Right. Um, like a little warning shot. Yeah, and then there was another time I was coming home from one of the movies, and uh, there was a car like right on my ass. And uh, I could see through his windshield, red and blue lights. And I was like, okay, I guess everyone's pulling over. Um, probably myself, because I might have been speeding. I don't know. Obviously not, because there was a guy right on my ass. Right. And uh, so I went to pull over, and he pulled over, and the cop stayed with him. And I was like, just about to get onto the shoulder, and I noticed that they were both pulled over. And was like, 
All right, I'll keep it. <laughs> this is obviously not meant for me. Yeah, this is not my problem anymore. So do you have any, any precarious situations with the fuzz? I say this knowing full well you do have no. precarious <laughs> situations with the fuzz. I was fuzz. just gonna say, this is, uh, this is not a, a question that you need the answer to. Yeah, so for me, my precarious situations, uh, first one ever was when I was 18. I left school at lunch hour, or actually after lunch hour, because I had a, a spare. I'm pretty sure on period four. What were you doing on your spare? On my this spare. Makes, this is like the icing on the cake. On my spare, I needed to get my hair cut. That's the icing. That's the icing. Um, I was so worried about getting my hair cut, and I realized, oh shit, it's actually my haircuts at 12.30, looked at my watch, and it was about, I want to say maybe 12.25. I thought, all right, I can, I can get there, cut my losses, I'll, I'll just speed through it. So I gunned it out of the, uh, and I say gunned with, with uh, uh, a bit of an asterisk at the end because it, you were driving a what year Cavalier? I, I drove a 2002 Cavalier. It, uh, we, we got right up to, uh, in the school zone still, uh, I got it up to 95 in a 40, which officially breaks the um, 50 over rule. Where you lose your license. Where you lose your license and your car is impounded for three days and it's a $2,000 fine. And I realized, ah, uh, it's not worth this anymore. I was doing about 83, as officially as the officer stated, as I plowed right past, and I blew past this cop and I saw him. As, as soon as he was perpendicular to me, I saw him. And I was like, shit, I'm so screwed. So of course he pulls out and I'm like, nope, maybe I can, uh, maybe I can like turn and then lose him in the side streets. But my, unfortunately, uh, the light didn't, didn't work in my favor. And it ended up that we got, uh, I got stuck, for lack of a better word, uh, behind another vehicle. He, do you want a soda? Uh, sure. Sure, I'll take a soda. Can I pause this? No, 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 this is part of it. I mean, you can pause your we're, story. We're getting, we're getting a soda. Do you need money? You got two dollars? Two dollars or 75 cents? Okay. This has been here for years and I've never... Oh my, that was creaky. What kind do you want? Uh, what kinds are there? Come on out here. Thank you. Oh my. I'll take uh, Pepsi. No, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. I've, uh, for all the years that that's been there, and that's been there for like years and years and years we've I've never ever ever stopped that was exciting um, long story short now basically we uh, we got to the point where I got to the point I gotta stop saying we there was no yeah, we it was just you just I'll me and the people in your head anyways I got pulled over I uh, pulled off on the side street because I don't want to have a police officer coming onto the road at least I'm not considerate and it's like a main main and road that we turned on to you were still hoping you'd lose him I was still hoping but he was right there behind me um, so I said fine totally get it pulled over uh, you know what I uh, I didn't argue with him he said you know <laughs> what uh, do you know do you know why I pulled you over do you know how fast you were going I'm like I don't know, but it was over the speed limit. You tell me, because I know a number, <laughs> and I'm hoping yours is lower than mine. Right. <laughs> uh, he charged me with 43 over the speed limit, um, which was a $420 fine, or $435 fine, Canadian. So it's like three and a half dollars American. And uh, four demerit points. So at that time, before I actually worked in the insurance industry, I was terrified that my... Um, insurance rates would go up so I wanted to go and I fought against the points and I got two points taken off and I had it reduced to a $200 fine um, so I got it over half knocked off because it was my first offense did you get a lawyer no no I just I I, I talked it out with a prosecutor myself so 
and I, you know, I pled the case. My first offense, you know, I was late, I was stupid, I, you know, whatever. And he was, actually, he was a really nice guy. He was totally fine. I had to go have a meeting with him in the, in the courthouse. And then we, we stood in front of the judge. The, uh, the prosecutor stated what the terms of agreement were in the negotiation settlement. And I said, yes, I agree. And that was it. So that's the only ticket I've ever officially received. Uh, the only other time I've actually been pulled over was ironically because I was driving too slow. Um, I'm driving home from my girlfriend's. We had a, a huge fight, like a, a blowout fight, and to the point where I said, F this, and left. They're and, still together, by the way, don't worry. Yeah, we're still together, three and a half years. Sorry, single ladies. So I'm coming home uh, after a big fight with my, my significant other, and she and I uh, are talking on the phone, actually, because she's the type that needs to call after an argument. So, I had my phone, not in my hand, but in my center console, and it was hooked to my Bluetooth. So that was fine, and I um, was driving at what my car told me was 80 kilometers an hour, which is the exact speed limit, because whenever I'm angry, I don't drive fast. It's kind of weird. I don't drive fast when I'm angry. I just drive slow. Maybe it's because I want to think, maybe because whatever reason, but I don't really ever drive fast unless I'm furious and I need a haircut. Um, <laughs> so this guy behind me in the huge like SUV suburban type vehicle is like on my ass and I'm thinking, come on buddy, get around me, go do your thing. And he doesn't, all the way from where my girlfriend lives to almost the police station, which is a solid, you know, 15, 16 kilometers. And like it's almost back to town. So, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm getting a little antsy. So I'm slowing down a little bit to try and encourage him to go around because if he's upset that I'm driving at 80, then he's going to be even more upset that I'm driving at 75. Um, so I'm still at 80 when, and just about to start decelerating um, when he pulls his lights on. And I'm thinking, what? What am I, like, what am I getting pulled over for here? So, needless to say, I tell my girlfriend, I gotta go, get him pulled over, um, and uh, actually I blamed it on her, and then I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> so, he comes up to the window, and he's like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, honestly, officer, sir, I don't. I was driving 80, I'm not doing anything wrong. And he's like, well, you were kind of hugging the uh, the white line there, and, and you're going under the speed limit you weren't going 80 you're doing about 73 have you had anything to drink I'm like honestly officer no not a not a thing and he's like all right well license and registration handed it to him and uh, he then tells me that uh, typically when he sees drivers who are driving at or under the speed limit holding one of the outside lines or the inside lines is a sign of intoxication he tells me that it's mostly a sign of an intoxicated driver. I said, I understand. And, you know, honestly, officer, I don't have anything in me. Um, you know, so he goes back, checks my license, registration, everything's fine, hunky dory. He comes back, he says, have a great night, and lets me go. So. So, why were you doing under the speed limit? Because I was trying to let him. I honestly, I was no, at no, no, 80. No, no. There's a reason. Oh, why. I see what you're getting at. So, the reason my. A friendly neighborhood police officer tells me that I was driving 73 instead of my car registering at 80 is due to a defect in my vehicle somewhere along the line somewhere whether it's the tires or the odometer like the speedometer or what it is but something actually registers that my speed is on the dash faster than what I'm actually traveling at so if I'm doing on my car 106 it's actually meaning I'm doing a hundred. So really, I should never get a speeding ticket. Because if anything, I'm always gonna be driving slower than I think I am. If you ever wanna buy a Lancer with 6% more kilometers on it, <laughs> there you go. <laughs>